Hey, this is Nibby 5. I'm using my transformer to record. Don't complain about the quality. So, this is um, the latest work in progress build of Vegacomb. This is the new, completely refreshed um, ROM that we based on a clean transformer image. It's still 3.0, but it is now set on the 0.36 kernel that was uh, kicked off by Eduardo and it's been picked up by Rebel One and me and Corvus and um, Cass. We're all working to try and get a proper native honeycomb build working on the 0.36 kernel, and we've got fairly far so far. The stuff's not working properly. It still crashes, still locks up. There's memory issues. But what we do have working at the moment is uh, native hardware acceleration, which I'll show you in a second, um, and a lot of other stuff. There's still hardware that isn't working. The accelerometer isn't working. The camera isn't working. The other things are not working. The SD card's kind of shoehorned in. If you take the SD card out and then put it back in again while the tablet's running, there's a minor explosion somewhere on the inside and nothing works anymore and you've got to turn it off. So what we've got now is if I just go to this uh, stock browser, if I go to the BBC iPlayer there, and this is a catch-up TV service in the UK that uses Flash. So this is dun dun dun. Fire this up. Now this is probably gonna just doing this is gonna eat probably most of the memory on the tablet. But it's working, and once we've optimized it, it's gonna work a lot better. So this is hardware accelerated flash running through the stock browser, not through Opera although it should work absolutely fine in Opera. Um, if I turn it up a little bit. There we go. And then it crashes. It makes me look fantastic. Oh no, there we go. Okay, we're still working. Go full screen. There you go. Right. The volume is working, obviously. Audio is working. The Vega is so loud now that I can only take it to about there before it gets a bit stupid. Take it all the way up to the top. It gets really distorted. Hang on, it'll talk in a minute. Well, oh, no, it'll beep, and then you'll all go deaf. Right, so there you go. So it's a lot louder than it ever used to be, which is good. So, native flash working. Done. Brilliant. Um, I'll show you something else. Touch screen needs work, obviously. Close. Close. All right, and crash. It's good enough. Um, so, hang on a minute, darling. Launch Dungeon Defenders, just to show you that we've also got 3D acceleration working properly. What's up, darling? You broken it? What are you broken? This one. Greg will help you. Give me one second. Okay, so this might crash now. I don't know. There's, uh, the memory killer still isn't working quite properly, so if you do something intensive like have an accelerated flash and then try to launch a game, sometimes the memory killer doesn't quite do its job. But it looks like it's working okay now. So let's fire up Dungeon Defenders. Uh, da -da -da. So there we go. There's not much to say about that, but it is all working. So we've got good accelerated um, 3D gaming graphics. There we go. All working fine. Touchscreen is plenty good enough to be using for this right now. There we go. So what we've had to do, most tablets, well, all, all tablets, uh, all current native honeycomb tablets expect 128 megabytes of video memory. The way that um, Tegel works, because the system on a chip, is you've got however much um, memory you've got on your board, and that gets uh, divided up between whatever it is you, uh, you needed to do. So all of our 0.32 kernel um, ROMs, like Corvus and the original Vegacomb, were using 64 megabytes of video memory. Um, this wants to use, Honeycomb wants to use 128 megs of video memory. Um, which leaves the Vega with hardly any memory left because we've only got 512 meg. So what we've had to do is we've cut that we've cut that back down to 64 meg, which is leaving us, which means that we've got more system memory available to do other things. But it means that the actual hardware accelerated stuff is struggling a little bit. Um, so we, if you do too, try to do too many things at once. So if you're trying to watch 720p video and then flick to another tab and trying to watch another 720p uh, video, something will probably end up breaking. But this is the YouTube app. This is the unmodified YouTube app. This is not the hacked one that we put in Vegacomb 1.7. So this is just the stock. There we go. 
high quality HD video running in the YouTube app. Nice and loud, strangely Japanese. There we go. So, this is just to show you where we're at. It is working. I might release something soonish so that you guys can all have a play and get your hands on things. There's a couple of things that kind of explode quite badly at the moment. You can't reboot into Clockwork Mod. So, pretty much the only thing that you can do after you've tested this ROM out is to reflash another MV flash which is probably going to cause people to have a heart attack, so if I do release this, I'm probably going to end up spending more time trying to help people get back from it. So that might not be something that we do for now. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, other than the fact that this thing eats up memory like a fat lass eats cake, it's uh, it's doing pretty damn well. We'll keep rocking, and we'll keep uh, we'll try and keep you guys up to date with what's going on. Uh, obviously, it helped that we went with Vega Comb to start with because we've got a lot of experience learning how to shoehorn Honeycomb into the Vega. Now that we don't actually have to do half of as many hacks as we did before, it's actually a hell of a lot easier. We've managed to get Transformer, um, Iconia, uh, the Iconia A100 and A500 ROMs running on this, as well as um, we semi-booted a Zoom 3.2 port, all that doesn't work properly because we need to make more changes to the kernel. So we're getting places and more stuff will happen. The Vega isn't dead. Um, how much more we can squeeze onto it? I mean, I think 3.0 is going to be as far as we go for now. The memory problems and, and, and the space problems that we run into when we're trying to do that alone um, are heavy enough without uh, the possibility of the newer versions of Android needing more. So, yeah, there you go, guys. I hope that whets your appetite a little bit, and I'll let you know more when, when I know more. See you later.